Hello, everyone, and welcome into Senior Living Live. My name is Melissa. As always, it is so good to see you again. And for those of us who are listening via podcast, welcome back. Today, we are previewing our upcoming webinar, October 28th at noon Eastern. That is uh, all about finding ways to help you decide if long-term care coverage is the right option for you or your family. Ben Green, he will be our special presenter for that webinar. He is a fantastic resource for this topic and for many others. Ben, welcome back. Melissa, thank you very much for having me back. Yeah, well, you know, uh, you have shared your knowledge with us on many topics uh, related to senior living on our platform uh, via video, and those, I believe, have been turned into podcasts as well. So uh, you have been a familiar face or voice to a lot of our viewers, but for those who may not know a lot about you or your background, can you give us uh, a little bit of an insight take of who you are and what you're about? Sure, sure. So my name's Ben Green. I'm president and COO of Insurance Advantage, and we've been in business for 12 years. We started out really uh, ironically working with, with younger folks. Um, folks under 35, getting them health insurance plans, and then we sort of transition into um, helping folks of really of all uh, all ages get health insurance. And a lot of the folks that we help get health insurance, they started transitioning into Medicare uh, and turning 65. And so we went into the Medicare market because we also found that that market was was underserved and um, folks were undereducated about what Medicare covered and, and what it did not cover, which we'll get to later. Um, and so uh, we've been doing that now and, and for Medicare for the last five or six years. And in the last four years or so, we've found that a lot of families were coming to us asking about both life insurance and then also long-term care insurance because they did not have a good understanding of it. And a lot of folks thought that Medicare covered long-term care costs. And so uh, today we, we offer kind of that wide range of, of Medicare, but we do a lot of work helping families get long-term care insurance coverage and, uh, and making sure that they're completely taken care of uh, for their retirement years. Yeah, and th these are the tough things. These are, these are topics that can be very convoluted, that can have a lot of, um, uh, a lot of things written about written about them that people may not understand very well. Um, and so you are the guy that kind of does the dirty work. You dive in deep, you know what, what everything means and um, people come to you for that knowledge. And you have been able to share that with us, uh, as I mentioned on many topics, but specifically this particular webinar is all about long-term care and the choices out there as it relates to this uh, type of coverage. So it, first, what exactly is long-term care, Ben, and who needs it? And when does somebody need it? Yeah. So I want to uh, want to start with what, what it is not. First of all, so a lot of folks get it get long term care insurance coverage confused with long term disability coverage that they may have they may have during their working years. Uh, and you know that kind of long term disability protects your paycheck essentially protects you know that your income stream. Long term care insurance is for uh, for things like uh, coverage in uh, in a nursing home or an assisted living facility, or even uh, if you're gonna have home health care for a certain amount of time, a long-term care insurance policy can help to take care of that cost or even supplement the cost of, of coverage. Yeah, and it's one of those things that you, you don't really know that you need it until you really, really need it. Uh, and we'll talk more about that as we have this conversation. Um, but you will be available during our webinar to answer questions, which of course is the beauty of our webinars. And when people come to you about this particular type of coverage, what are some of the questions that they ask and the answers that you give them? Yeah, so a lot of folks uh, come to, to us and, and say, well, I, I thought, that, thought that was covered by Medicare, okay? And we say, and, you know, uh, tell them, unfortunately, Medicare does not cover long-term care insurance coverage. Medicaid can cover long-term, some long-term care, but for you to qualify for Medicaid, you essentially have to be destitute, okay? You have to have, uh, you know, under $15,000 in assets, essentially, to qualify for Medicaid in most states. And if you do utilize Medicaid for your long-term care coverage, then when you, after you pass away, the government may take all of your assets, essentially. Uh, and so that, that's one question, just, con, just clearing up the confusion around Medicare and what it does and does not cover. The other question, of course, is how much does long-term 
uh, how, how much does long-term insurance, uh, long-term care insurance cost? And it really kind of all depends on when you get it. So if you come to us when you were age 40, or 45, you had some, some forethought, you had some planning, and you come to us at that, that age, it's going to be a lot cheaper, of course, than if you come to us age 70. And we can still get you uh, long-term care insurance coverage at age 70, or maybe even age 72, 73, but it's going to be more, uh, more expensive, of course. They do like to ask um, you know, how long it can cover, so how long of a span you can cover long-term care insurance. It can range from two years, for example, up to about, we have some policies that we can offer through companies, for example, that will last up to six years of coverage. So for example, it'll give $4,000 a month for up to six years as an example. And so th those are the typical questions around what Medicare covers, the cost, and then how long uh, policies can last. And then the other question, of course, is uh, how, how, do, how do we qualify? You know, do we qualify? Would we qualify for coverage? And it really all depends on your health. And so um, it, is, it is very important if you're thinking about it, and everyone should be thinking about it, um, to take a look at it and, and get start, start working on it early on. Yeah. And so when we get into the nitty gritty of it and people are, are wondering, well, what does long-term care insurance cover? Um, I think the list could probably be pretty exhaustive. So maybe let's talk about what isn't covered that people maybe have a misconception. You mentioned a few things already, but when we talk about the specific care, what isn't covered? Yeah. So it covers, you know, care in a nursing home facility, an assisted living facility, you know, memory care, for example, and it can cover home health care as well but it's not going to cover your, your, your medical costs, right? It's not going to cover medical costs. So you'll still have to have a, a Medicare or some sort of health insurance plan. Still have to have a prescription drug plan. Um, you'll still have to, uh, you know, uh, you'll still have to, uh, depending on if you have home health care, you still have to take care of your, your food and, and, you know, and, 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 uh, and rent and, and, and utilities and all that sort of stuff. If you go into a facility, of course, the facility is going to cover, um, going to cover those, those costs. And so, yeah, long-term care coverage is meant to take care of your care in the facilities or home health care. Gotcha. Okay. So um, you've, you mentioned kind of how you started with your business and how it's kind of uh, developed over time with where people have come to you for needs. Um, so I'm wondering if you could give us an example of a situation where you have seen um, where someone came to you asking for this type of insurance they put it in place down the road. They contacted you in sort of a crisis situation, found themselves where they desperately needed this and they had it. Well, so I, I, will, I will give you um, a personal example. Um, unfortunately, I have a personal example myself. So about 12 years ago, before I actually was, was in, it, in, in the insurance industry and, and started helping folks with insurance, we uh, took a look at long-term care insurance actually for my, my father and for my mom. And uh, my mom was, uh, was uh, if you will, compliant uh, with, with, the, with the, the overall uh, uh, plan we had in place. And we, we were able to put coverage in place for her. Um, but my father did not, uh, he, he did not want, he, he didn't think there was a need for it, essentially. Um, so he missed, he missed the appointments. He missed the, uh, you know, the, the meetings that we had set up to go ahead and get some long-term care insurance coverage in place. And um, unfortunately, uh, just two months ago, actually, we now put him into a facility and thankfully he has enough to right now to cover the, the, the monthly cost of about $4,500. Okay. But essentially it is uh, all of that cost is being eaten up or is eating up his social security and his pension. So we do not have anything extra um, uh, to cover, to cover him essentially. And a long-term care insurance policy Providing an additional two or three thousand dollars, four thousand dollars a month would have been exceptionally, exceptionally helpful right now. And that's exactly what we were trying to put in place. That's what we have in place for my mom, and so I'm glad we have it in place for her. But unfortunately, I have a real world example of why you need to consider long term care insurance. Yeah, and that is a powerful example. I mean, when people um, consider or think about senior living or the next step, what am I going to do after I retire? If I need a little extra help, the, the question is always about money. What can I afford? 
And so, um, and these are things that it takes a little bit of forward thinking, you know, to really get the ball going on this. And as you said, the earlier that you start these plans, the better off you are. So I really, I encourage anybody um, who is watching this, no matter your age, um, sign up RSVP for your webinar, October 28th. Um, you will be there to provide answers to questions that people have. It is just, it is a really important topic. So I'm, I'm really yes. glad we're covering this today. Yeah. Um, finally, uh, resources. Uh, is there any uh, place you can direct our viewers or our listeners to who may be a part of this process right now that you, uh, that could help them or a way that they can get in touch with you? Sure, sure. So if they want resource, if they want some information on how much long-term care may cost, I'll have a slide for them uh, in the webinar, of course, but if they want to you know, Google it themselves. You can just look up, you know, uh, average cost of long-term care facilities. Uh, and it, Genworth has some really good uh, resources around it. it it's typically, they'll, they'll show, hey, you know, it's going to be $4,000 per month for home health care. On the national average, it's going to be, you know, $6,000 for assisted living, et cetera. So they can, they can give, they can get that resource. Um, there, the, there are long-term care associations that, that provide uh, uh, studies that talk about the need for long-term care and how much, how long you may need long-term care, of course. And then they can always just contact us. My, my email is ben at theiateam.com. So that's ben, B-E-N, at theiateam.com. They can always email me. Help, happy to help folks wherever they are. We're, we're licensed in, in numerous states, but we, we consult folks really all over the country. And um, Really look forward to providing great information in the webinar on Thursday. I'm excited about it, even though it can be a tough, tough topic. And uh, look forward to, to hopefully helping folks plan their futures. Yeah, it is a tough topic, but it's an important topic. Um, and we certainly can't wait to uh, can't wait to unleash your knowledge on this particular topic and many others. I'm sure many people will have questions for you that kind of range, uh, run the gamut of, of all topics that you are able to provide knowledge on. And we can't wait for that. Ben, we will see you then. Thank you, Melissa. I appreciate it. Look Thank forward you. to it. Yeah. And for those of you who are interested in joining Ben's presentation, you can head on over to www.seniorlivinglive.com. There you can RSVP for this webinar October 28th at noon Eastern time. And while you're there at seniorlivinglive.com, you can check out the rest of our videos where you can see Ben breaking down numerous other topics, all related to senior living. As always, we appreciate you watching Senior Living Live, and we hope to see you October 28th at noon Eastern.